Alright, so for this week's discussion, I'm going to make a video on the utilitarianism outlook of assisted suicide, doctor assisted suicide, and how it can either be a positive or a negative. And in this case, I'm going to side with uh, it should be legalized or it should be a positive in the outlook. But of course, it depends on the person and the situation. Uh, but looking through utilitarianism outlook, there's more positives than there are negatives. So to start off with, one of the positives is the person gets to end suffering. So instead of, say somebody with cancer, uh, last stages of cancer that are not getting medical treatment or they are but it's not helping and they're told they only have weeks left. So they decide, I don't wanna suffer anymore I want to, uh, I want to die. And some of the pros in this situation are they can get friends and family together for days or however long before they have to go and celebrate and have good time so everyone leaves on a positive note and then decide, all right, this is, this is when I want to go. But to oppose that, of course, there's a negative saying a premature death. So yes, they get to end their suffering, but what if there was that statement where they could live on, treatment gets better, they get better. So it could go both ways. If they did happen to get better with the treatment, uh, in the like towards the end of treatment, they start getting better and they go from weeks to months to years to treatment for the rest of their life. That's, that's a positive. They are gonna still, they're gonna survive. And then they have forever to have good notes with family and friends and enjoy life but with that comes a another positive for the uh, assisted suicide is the medical bills the medical bills are going to be exponentially high which is going to cause more grief more struggle i'm not saying that it makes it okay to commit suicide because you have bills to pay. But through the utilitarianism outlook, I'm saying with the bills to come, and they're not going to be paid by you, obviously, if it's not going well, then they're going to go on your other family members, and you're probably not going to want that. You're not going to like that outcome. You're not going to like to go and leave that on somebody else as their burden. So another con against that, of course, is, say, a situation where it violates the hypocritical oath, where a doctor won't kill a patient, and it goes against that. It's not good to say, yes, I'll do this, of course, but it's a tough decision in the long run. It, that's why you have to do the math for it. Another pro to allowing it would be somebody leaves with their dignity they they leave on their own terms how they'd like to so it kind of leaves on a good note in that sense and it could make the uh, the aftermath after they go and everyone's grieving it could make that easier because everyone had a chance to say their last goodbyes and get everything out that they always wanted to say for however long, they get it all out and they just leave on a good note, pretty much. So of course it can go both ways, but through the utilitarianism, there seems to be more pros than cons in this situation. So of course, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I'm gonna have to side with the pro for it should be allowed.